So they did clutter the U. I mean, well, this is blue stack, so it's a little more compressed. When you look on the main, on the PC version here, you can obviously see, I mean, yes, there is more stuff, but, you know, it is collapsible. It does look a little better. As for how the game's been, um, well, <laughs> um, we'll just say, despite their best uh, word and play games and announcements, they continue to underwhelm and disappoint. And think that might actually be a good time to uh, lead us into our special announcement. Let's just go ahead and start things off with that, right? We'll get it out of the way, and then we can move on to more fun things to talk about today. So, special announcement. Only me, from my own personal viewpoint, uh, have absolutely nothing not trying to influence anybody, change anybody's mind, make anybody's decision, but I, Tiberius, am officially putting Scopely on a 90-day probation. Um, during that time, I will not be spending any money on any of my accounts in-game. Um, again, not encouraging you not to do that, not judging you if you continue to spend. This is just me. Uh, I've kind of had it up to here with them the last six months. Um, and they continue to say things that they have no intention of following up through on or following through with. And it's just gotten really obnoxious. And this weekend was just another example of that. You know, they continue to have failed event launches. They continue to have, you know, poor customer service quality and, and those kinds of things. But once again, um, you know pulling a switch, bait and switch, I don't know, bait and switch, but pulling the old switcheroo at the last minute uh, with this weekend's events, and instead of there being a third Archer auction ha has been announced on the schedule, a schedule that they've adhered to for several months in a row now, we get this stupid Material Advantage cross-server leaderboard event, giving out seven of nine and Trip Tucker shards, uh, with zero announcement, uh, even after the event launched, and people were asking, hey, where's the Archer event? Hey, where's the Archer event? Nobody from Scopely said a peep. And as far as I know, nobody has still said a peep. Um, you know, a couple of the moderators on Discord, who don't actually, like, officially work for the company, um, in any, you know, monetary capacity that I'm aware of, Maybe they get paid, maybe they don't. Uh, you know, did the whole, well, you know, the calendar does say events are subject to change, right? And yes, I understand that. But the previous precedent is when they've changed events in the past, they've announced it. Hey, gang, this weekend's SMS SLB for Archer is going to be canceled and replaced with this event. Don't even have to say why, you know. People would ask why, but... You don't even have to give a why if you don't want to, but you have to announce it and let people know. You can't just roll out a completely different event, leave everybody wondering where the event they were expecting is, and then go complete radio silence. But it's par for the course with them. It's what they've done time after time after time. And quite frankly, I'm sick of it. They've been talking about, oh, we really want to improve quality. We really want to do better with communication. And then they keep doing stuff like this, which tells me they have no intention of actually doing what they said they were going to do in that roadmap announcement. So uh, for me, they're on a 90-day timeout. They basically get nothing from me. And at the end of the May arc, I will revisit what type of uh, progress they have made over the three months and will either be encouraged by what I've seen, or it'll just be more of the same, and it will be time to walk away and go find something else to do with my time. Because this level of, you know, they say one thing, they never do it, we hold them accountable for it, 
and they try harder for like a few days and then they go just right back to business as usual and we just keep letting them get away with it, doesn't work for me anymore. Um, and I wanted to put this information out here now because I know Bubba Joe leaving last week, I understand the issues he had with Scopely and things like that, but it caught a lot of people by surprise, kind of caught them all off guard. Um, they were stunned by it. They were stunned by the way he was basically treated. Uh, they were shocked by him walking away after he's invested so much time and money into the game over these years. Um, and I wanted, you know, not to have people have the rug pulled out from underneath them when I finally decide, if I decide, here it is, I'm done. This has been fun. It's been a fun four years, but enough is enough. And it's time to move on to something else. Uh, I didn't want, you know, people to be caught off guard by that and be like, oh my God, what the hell's going on? Like, so it's out there. Take it for what you will. Hopefully they'll prove me wrong and I'll still be here or they'll at least make some improvements. Um, and maybe I'll just continue to leave them on probation for a little longer. I don't know, but um, I had to get that out there. I had to get that all off my chest. i am uh, been feeling this way for a little while now. And the last couple of weeks have really just cemented that fact um, that, again, they it doesn't seem like they care. They just keep telling people what they think they want to hear. Long, it's, you know, like politicians, right? We're going through all these election cycles and stuff right now. They just tell you what they want to hear, but they don't actually have any intention of doing that when they get into office because it doesn't make them any money. And that's... That's what it feels like we're at right now. So. Um, I plan on continuing to stream, so it's not just like I'm going to walk away and just cancel my Twitch account and be done with it. So uh, I would say I like being here with you guys and continuing to stream and make videos on YouTube and things like that. And, you know, we'll find other games to play. Probably I'm going to do a sponsorship or two over the next couple months and we'll look and see you know what other games might be out there that might be uh, worth taking a look at obviously I have other games that I do play for fun that I can always fall back on do some Hearthstone content for a while or you know find something else to do so that's where I'm at and uh, again this is me this is me making my own case my own statements where I'm personally feeling. If you're not feeling that way, awesome. I'm glad you're not. Please continue to do the things that you find enjoyable in the game. If that includes spending money on the game and you know advancing, you do you. I'm not trying to tell anybody what to do, what not to do. All I'm doing is expressing where what I'm feeling. So. Love a quit because of the poor cost. Yeah, yep, yep, for sure. Don't think they'll ever change. It's all about the money. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Darth stopped spending beginning of the year. You just do what you find fun. Yep. Sounds, sounds like, sounds very familiar. I've seen a lot of these posts uh, on Twitch, on Discord over the last couple months, pretty much since G6 was released. And it was nothing but a 100% pure pay to play, um, you know, mechanic. I've seen, you know, Rev had his town hall in December or early January with some of the, the 60 plus players where they've just said, you know, we're not spending money on it. We're not buying this content. We don't see any value in it and we're not paying into it. And I know a lot of other people have been feeling that way for quite some time. So it's a growing sentiment among older players, people who've been in the game for several years, three, four, five years that enough is enough and you know they they're opting to go do something else instead with their time and their money you know newer players who've only been playing you know 6 12 18 months you know it's kind of like uh well, how do I phrase it? lord of the rings right you know when frodo had the ring at the beginning he was doing fine but the longer he had it the longer he had it the more it began to weigh on him think that you're seeing a lot of that from older players where they've just seen too many things over the last three, four, five years and you know, their patience has worn too thin and they just don't have 
you know, I guess hope or optimism that things are moving in a positive direction and that things are actually just continuing to slowly degrade in a negative direction and no longer see a future for their investments. Or at least not as bright a future as they saw maybe two years ago or so for previous investments. So... Most of those in Rev's town hall have already quit. Okay, well, there you go. King, you switched over to Star Trek Online. It's much more entertaining of a crap show. Okay. <laughs> Star Trek Legends just released over on Steam. Okay. Could be a new game worth checking out. Belair, you took Rev's advice. Just play how you want. You're camping at 49, maxing up research. No hurry to go 50 plus anytime soon. Awesome. And that's perfect. You play the way that's making you happy. You do you. You're still getting enjoyment out of the game. Please continue to do what makes you happy and what you enjoy doing. Southpaw is a newer player. About 12 months now. You don't think your current attitude toward the game would allow you to continue playing if a few key people you like stopped playing. And I could obviously see that being a thing. You know? People who have joined the game because they like the community, well, if people from that community start leaving, you know, Bubba Joe's gone, Ripper's been gone for a while, Trader's been gone. Is it just everybody who works with DJ who's been gone? Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, hope you're enjoying your cruise, buddy. But, yeah, and I think th it's really more of people who have seen behind the curtain who know what the great and powerful Oz looks like have seen enough and, you know, have opted to move on for various reasons. Chrissy, you're spending less, but you're still enjoying it. Okay. Haven, welcome to the channel. First time being here. Just start playing a few weeks ago. You're free to play. Is it worth continuing the grind? I mean, you can play the game free to play. I have a free to play account that's level about to be level 46 as soon as I get a little more ore. Uh, I've been playing that account for about two years. So you can make progress through the game free to play. Um, obviously, it, there's a time commitment still involved, which could be you know two to three hours a day. Uh, possibly more if you want to continue to like accelerate your progress. But if you just want to kind of you know do the minimum requirements and get through, you can you can do that and you can do it free to play. It's it's going to take you longer to progress. But if you accept that mentality and go into it with that, and you're not looking to you know be the biggest player on your server, you can still get some value and enjoyment without spending a dollar. <laughs> 